So I think chemotherapy and radiation have long been appreciated for immune suppressive effects. We all know that when you treat someone with radiation, you treat someone with chemotherapy, you can see uh, cytopenias, you can see lymphocytes that decrease. Uh, we know that they have suppressive immune effects. But what we're learning, I think, more and more is that chemotherapy, certain types of chemotherapy specifically, and, and radiation, especially if you give it in a certain way under in the proper circumstance, can cause immunologic cell death. And that can possibly synergize with the newer types of immunotherapy and immune checkpoint blockade that are being developed. So one of the findings in our study was that you saw an increase in T cells expressing the PD-1 receptor. So those could now be potentially targeted by new checkpoint inhibitors that target the PD-1 receptor. So I think as we develop these therapies even further, there are exciting new potential combinations between immune therapy and some of the traditional therapies that have long been used for head and neck cancer.